family, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. I am your humble host. Now, fellas, we got a card in our hands, and I'm pretty sure you guys are ready to make some money. I am ready to make some money too. JC is ready to make some money too, even though he's not here, but his work is ever present, boys and girls. Now, first thing I do want to say though, before I move in with the card, thank you to each and every single one of you for your amazing support and it still continues and it means a lot from the bottom of our hearts do not worry about EAC in the next couple of months he will rejoin the fray of the beat up cat now boys like I said we got a card in our hands it's time to make that money but if you don't want to make some money welcome to the beat up cat here is you're gonna have fun we're gonna make you laugh too Believe it or not. Now, we're going to move on with the first fight of the night. It's a women's strawweight bout between Amorim versus Hughes. There's not going to be a pickup between these two girls. But I can tell you one thing, though. Amorim looks like she's going to sweep the floor with Miss Hughes. I've been checking on Amorim, and he, this girl is coming from Legacy Fighting Alliance undefeated record and the way she finishes the fights she trades a couple of blows and then takes the girls to the deep water which I mean she takes them to the ground which is where we want to see them anyways <laughs> now and then she finishes them this girl is an anaconda on the ground huge stands no chance the only way huge stands a chance is by keeping this girl at bay and it's not going to happen. But then again, we all know that ladies, sometimes their IQ fails because you touch my hair, I'm going to touch your hair back. Anyways, no picking there, so we're going to move on to the next fight, which is a featherweight bout between, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name though, Noir Dambique versus Garcia. Now, obviously, I have, we have no pick over here. So I'm not even going to talk about it. So it kind of does look a new one. The beak is more well-rounded, has a better record than Garcia, and obviously is more experienced. So it might look like New Orleans and Beak can win the fight. But I would say you do your own due diligence and find out. So we're going to move on for the third part of the night. And our first pick is a... Cash weight bout between Bahamondes versus Ogden. Fellas, we're picking Bahamondes here, and this is why we're picking Bahamondes. Even though we're always looking, we're always looking at the guy that can do that can take the other one to the ground. But the difference here on size it's uh it's staggering. Bahamondes is way bigger, it's about four inches bigger than this guy. And not just that, it's like three point three and a half more inches in reach. Bahamondes is gonna keep this guy at bay. He's gonna he's gonna use that jab over and over again. He's gonna kick him in the legs, he's gonna keep him at bay, and then he's gonna finish him on the ground. I do believe Bahamondes is gonna put this guy, he's gonna punch him so hard, he's gonna probably gonna drop to the ground and then he's gonna follow up, trying to finish him up, and then he does that's what he does. And then he's gonna go for the submission. The only way for Bahamondes to lose this fight is if Ogden, is if he lets Ogden get too close and too often. He just needs to tire Ogden a little bit, hit him here and there, get him desperate to make a mistake, and then that's it. So Bahamondes on our first pick of the night. The fourth fight of the night is a woman's strong way bout. Man, there's so many ladies fighting today. I mean, fighting tomorrow. <laughs> we don't want to see them, baby. Anyways, it's going to be between Miss Calvillo versus Gudanis. Listen, looks like Gudanis might actually have the, this one in the back. It's not our pick. It's not my business. Probably not yours. But if you guys want to talk some smack, probably Gudanis would take it. But like I said, ladies, MMA uh, fighting as of late, their IQ is questionable. They have it. But I think they get a little bit emotional when they get hit. That's all I want to say. Not to, <laughs> not to throw trash at you ladies, because some of you actually have a lot of IQ, even much better than some of, some of the male guys, but Jesus Christ, well, we've seen so as of late. 
Anyways, no pink over there. So the next fight of the night is going to be a heavyweight bout between Chaos William versus Sherman. And this is our second pick of the night, fellas. We are picking Williams in this fight. Main reason for this is Sherman, he's coming. I mean, it's, it's, it's one loss after the other, fellas. Uh, and, and Williams has a much better record. Hasn't lost in probably like the past four to five fights. I don't think Sherman stands a chance against Williams at all. This is going to be a straight up knockout. That's all I want to say. Even though that kind of even when it comes to the reach and their martial progress, except the takedown average, which is where Williams is going to absolutely demolish Sherman. This guy take this guy has a takedown average of 5.5. No way Sherman is going to avoid this guy taking him to the ground. Williams is going to do that. He's going to tire him out a little bit, and then he's going to punch him here and there. And that's going to be it. It's going to be Williams, boys and girls. So that's it. The next fight, and it surprisingly, it's not one of our picks. It's me, me sheriff. I don't know how to pronounce that. Versus Pfeiffer. It's a middleweight bout, by the way. Now, I would say me sheriff has his fight. But then again, he's disappointed us in the past. He's dropped the ball. <laughs> no surprise there. So we're going to move on. For the next fight of the night, no pick there, fellas. So you do your own diligence. I did not do diligence. I do know the the veteran in the fight, but I did not know much of the other guys. So you guys do your own due diligence and just come out with your conclusions. Now the next fight of the night, it's not our pick either, but I'll talk about it. Waterson versus Pinedo. It's a woman's story. It does look like Pinedo might actually have this one in the back, but I, like I said in the couple of fights where I talk about the ladies before, I don't know. Pinedo looks like the better fighter among the two, right? She's the world round the fighter. But Watterson is not slouch either, so she might actually take this one. It does look like Pinedo will take this girl to the deep water, maybe trade some blows at the start, take it to the deep water. And submit it right then and there. After all, she has almost five points on takedown average. And that's all I wanted to say. No pick over there. The next fight of the night and our third pick of the night is Mr. Curtis himself. Not the Curtis. This is another Curtis. Versus Gastelum. And it's a middleweight bout. And this one, if me and JC have agreed, that if you really want to make money and, you know, you don't want to be on the, oh, nobody knocks out Gastelum. Oh, Curtis is not going to be able to finish him. I do agree in all of that. Curtis is not going to be able to finish Gastelum if he goes by the way of knockout. No, he will not. Guarantee you he will not. So in this fight we're picking, it's going to go to a decision. That's how you're going to win. Whoever wins it by decision, you still win it. But the fight has to go to decision. This is not going to be a finished fight, so this is our third pick of the night. We're going to move on for the next one. And this one is very interesting, but at the same time, we didn't have a pick, baby. Mm -hmm. So it's Rosas Jr. versus Rodriguez in a bantamweight. This young fella, Rosa, seems to be on a hot streak, and he keeps beating on people. So much so that the fella... Hold on a second, my phone is here, holding. Have at least, I mean, he's undefeated. All seven fights, one, submission and KO. This guy is very well-rounded. I could say the same for Rodriguez, but he kind of lacks a little bit of ground. And this is where Rosas will get this guy. Rosas is going to, it's a snake on the ground, baby. Just like Amorim in the first fight of the night that I, I talked about. He's going to take this guy to the ground. He's going to do some ground and pound. He's going to tear him out right then and there. They're going to get up. They're going to trade some blows. Rodriguez is going to be tired. And he's going he's gonna to start eating those punches. Left hook, right hook, you name it. Job. He's going to take him out. And then, obviously, it's going to end um, Rosa's favor. 
I am predicting this is going to be one of those fights where Rosas, when he sees Rodriguez is a little bit tired, he will take it to the ground one more time and submit him right then and there. Now, I could be wrong. Rodriguez is a little bit better than Rosas when it comes to the punches, and he could stop Rosas from getting those takedowns. But how committed would he be to stop Rosa, Rosas from doing that? We are seeing the fight. And our fourth pick of the night, fellas, the return of the incredible Mr. Holland himself, the legend, versus Posibio, a welterweight bout. Fellas, listen, you already know that I'm picking. We are picking Holland. What are you talking about? There's no way, no disrespect to Posibio. He has 30, he has 30 win fight, six losses, but Holland is too much Holland, man. That guy is going to come with his freestyle kung fu, kick him here, kick him there, and that's going to be it. He's going to technically knock out this guy. Posimbio has, and they, they put Posimbio in this guy's way just to test him too, but I do believe this test for Holland is not good enough. Holland is a much better superior striker, and his mental warfare when it comes to to trading blows and all that, the way he uh, talks uh, crap when he's fighting the opponents and all that, it's gonna get to Pusimbio, all right? Believe it or not, Holland is taking this one by way of knockout, all right? So, Holland, the next fight of the night, and our fifth pick, and the last pick we are picking for the night, boys and girls, is between Mr. Front versus Janius, and this is going to be a Bantamweight bout. And surprise, surprise, we're picking Janius. The reason why we're picking Janius is because Fran has been on a losing streak as of late. Janius, Janius, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. He's still winning, has at least the last five fights, he's still winning, this guy. What can I tell you? The pressure is on Fran. Janius has no pressure here. The mental warfare has already been done and won by Janius without him throwing a single punch. Believe it or not, Fang is thinking, if I do not win this fight, I'm going to some other place. Which might not be true, because he, it'll be his third loss in the road. The guy has potential, so this team might give him another couple of fights. But that's what's going through his head. He's picturing the worst case scenario. And I'm telling you, that is the way this guy is thinking right now. Janius absolutely has no pressure on him. Well, some, but not like Font. So we're picking Janius in this one. And by the way, this is our fight of the night, boys and girls. This is the luck of the night. So if make sure you write that down. All right, so the next fight of the night and the co-main event of the night, boys and girls, and the return of Mr. Burns versus none other than 305 Big Pizzeria, son of a bitch, Mafida. Fellas, listen. Mafida says, listen, I speak Spanish when he said, listen, man. What he said is, I'm going to fuck him up. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to fuck him up. Listen. Now, I do want to say that Masvidal will win this one. I do want to believe that he's training as hard, that he's as hungry as he was four years ago. But I don't think so. Jorge, just like Conor McGregor, is going into the business. He's being successful, boys and girls. When success has started knocking on the doors to 99% of these guys, they lose interest in a way for the fights because they have already made it. They're making money. They're living the life, and that's all they wanted from the get-go. Burns, on the other hand, wants a shot at the title one more time, and this is why I believe, me and JC talked about this, that he is going to take it no matter what. And we could be wrong, though. Uh, Masvidal could come in and actually put a clinic on this guy. Masvidal, when he really wants to hurt somebody, he hurts, he hurts some, some people. But Burns is really tough, too, man. When you go into the lockdown with Burns and, 
and it's one job and a straight ride and he keeps on taking them but he keeps on dishing at the same time the guy is dangerous i do agree that masuda has power enough to take him to sleep but so does burn burns is a beast but let's see what happens maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right now, we're going to talk about, about the last fight of the night, baby, and the main event of the evening. You guys know that we never, never, I mean, we did it in the past and we got fucked in the ass, but we never pick a fight when it comes to the main event, because if you're picking the main event, uh, there's no other fight for you to contradict yourself on the, <laughs> on the main event, because there's no more fights, right? So... Tell you what, I do not think Adesanya is going to win this one, even though he said that he was going to absolutely butcher Pereira, but he's not. The reason why is the same one. I was watching John Jones, and he said, I don't think he uh, he's going to go you know, and beat Pereira because Pereira was born for Israel Adesanya's uh, skills. There are some fighters that got other fighters' uh, numbers, and this is one of them. I, in a way, I believe the same thing as John Jones. What differs me from him, though, is that Adesanya could still win this fight. Could, but this is the thing, and Pereira mentioned it, on the face time, when they were facing each other and then they were talking crap to each other, one side of the table, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know how you call, how you call that, man. I keep forgetting that, the English word for that. But what I'm trying to say is, Pereira said, I don't care about what happens in the other three fights. This is the fight that matters. That's the one that's coming. But I'm telling you, those three losses are on the back of his head. They are not on mine. The meaning for that is, he lost those three fights, and he knows it. He cannot lose this fourth one. Chances are, if Adesanya loses again against Pereira, he might actually retire. I do believe that Adesanya might actually leave. Because as long as Pereira is there, or he may never fight Pereira again. How many times is he going to fight Pereira? Like, <laughs> ten times? It's not going to happen, fellas. I think he's going to be discouraged enough to leave the UFC. And I hope he doesn't make that decision. He's still got a lot of potential. That kid is amazing. But then again, Pereira, if you, have seen, if you, have, if you guys have seen his face off against Adesanya or anyone, he's just a stone cold killer. Everybody's trying to get a reaction from this guy, and he just stands there and looks at you like you don't even exist. This is going to be a tough one for Easy, but if he wins. Congrats, EC, if you got it. Congrats, Perry, if you got it. But if he easy wins, all right. So let's move on with all the picks. We got Bob Montes. We got Williams. We got Cur Curtis and Gasolum by decision. We got Holden. And we got Janius. Those are the five picks for us. So we are giving it to you. You guys still with it, whatever you want. If you guys think somebody else is going to win in those fights, let us know in the comments. I hope that each and every single one of you is enjoying and get, gets to enjoy the fights as much as we will. And uh, that each and every single one of you is enjoying of good health and uh, a good financial status. But if you're not enjoying any of those, I wish that upon you 20 times. All right, and be you know, just have hope and believe you can get it. All right, in the meantime, the beat up cat is just heading out, baby. Bye bye. <laughs>